on the Fox 9 Morning News. First, though, here's Miss M.A. Roscoe. What they I go out for a walk this morning, and next thing I know, I've got all these like people following me. I have no idea where they came from. All right, I'm kidding. They're from Prime Therapeutics, U.S. Bank, the Heart Association. They threw that in themselves, the cheering part. We are out walking on National Walking Day. Grab a pair of sneakers, grab a coworker or a mascot, and take it outside today. We'll tell you about all the benefits coming up. That you'll never get burned. Coming up at 8.49. It is 8.43 right now. As you might know, heart disease is this country's number one killer. But you may not know how easy it is to prevent it. Today is National Walking Day. The American Heart Association wants you to wear your sneakers to work today and then use them. That is the key. Emma Roscoe has been using her sneakers all morning long, along with the folks there that have been walking in circles. She's at live at Normandale Lake in Bloomington. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. It's starting to look like a walk around here, isn't it? Yeah. We're not just acting now, we are walking. Okay. A lot of employees from Prime Therapeutics here in Bloomington will be walking during their lunch hour. We've got some U.S. Bank employees walking. Companies all across the Twin City will be taking part in National Walking Day. A really good reminder that all it takes is 30 minutes of exercise. A brisk walk will do it to get good heart health. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to be sweating. You don't have to be wearing fancy clothing. You just have to get out and walk. And I'm going to introduce you to Dan Spiller from U.S. Bank. Uh, your employees will be taking part in National Walking Day. How? Absolutely. We'll have over 200 employees out today at all of our sites, primarily in downtown Minneapolis, walking for their health, walking for becoming better employees, and really walking to demonstrate to the American Heart Association why taking that first step towards health is so important. Now, the person who has to walk in the U.S. Bank Shield, is that the opposite of employee of the month? Like the bad employee of the month? Do they, <laughs> are they forced to wear the shield and walk in cumbersome shoes? Yeah, that's one of our development network folks. It's a great organization, all employee run, about young employees really showing the company how to lead and how to be great people. So you have they, to be young to be in the suit. You have to be young to be in the suit is what you're saying. You have to be young to be in that suit. And they have a great time. They are wonderful people. And and my, my favorite, R.E. Phil over there. You know, it doesn't matter if you, if you walk in cumbersome shoes or not. As long as you get out and walk. And somebody who is living testimony to the power of walking and fitness is Miss Susie Thayer. You are from Prime Therapeutics. So tell me how you got started walking. Um, I started walking in a program that Prime put on. It was a Be Well program. And um, they started a walking program so that we would walk a million steps. And I started in August and really, really enjoyed it. So you had the camaraderie, you had somebody at work saying, giving you the nudge, yeah. but the thing that really pushed you over the edge was, was what? This little gadget right here, which is a pedometer, and this pedometer is just amazing. It is definitely an incentive to get out and walk. It counts your steps so you know where you are at any given moment, and it's really wonderful. That is actually one of the tips for success. Keeping track of what you do keeps you on task. Thank you for sharing your story. And if you see people out walking in mascot costumes, not in mascot, costumes join them just just walk right behind them they won't mind you guys wouldn't mind if someone just joined in right just no, walk no, no. They're, they're cool with it so be sure to do it it's national walking day 50 and sunny today people get out and walk back to you all right thanks i live this morning in bloomington it is 8:46 now